Life is eternal, love is immortal, death is only a horizon, and a horizon is nothing save the limit of our sight. It is believed that the life of the dead is placed in the memory of the living. Having lived a great life of graceful impact, it was indeed a celebration of a life well spent as children, families, and friends of Mama Olushola Ashabi Amosu gathered to give her a befitting funeral rite. Her body arrived at the African Church, Bethlehem Cathedral, a Butimeta for the church service amidst jubilation. The church service was conducted with so much solemnity, from the choir's beautiful renditions of the hymns to the admonition of the pastor. Why should she die at a time like this, when her husband needs her love so dearly, when her children need her care so much, when the congregation where she pastors need her prayers and services so much when her friends need her companionship and her fellowship so much why should she have died at a time like this beloved you and i know that death is a necessity is a must whether you like it or not whether you live well or not, whether you confess Christ or not, whether you go to church or not, death is a necessity. It was obvious Mama Olushola Ashabi Amusu was a devoted Christian who contributed to the church community immensely. At the age of 74, before her demise, Mama was a loving mother, caring grandmother, and great friend to everyone who came in contact with her, as well as an influential figure in every endeavor of life. 
survived by four children and grandchildren, Mama's life was one to be remembered forever for all the good that she did, as testified by her loved ones. Mama Amosu, the deceased, had time for God. He used whatever God provided her with to serve God. He took care of the needy. He was very, very humble. She was very, very intelligent. And she was a woman of few words. Uh, me, I am a beneficiary of her humanitarian gestures and uh, human benevolence. He was kind to me. She was uh, a mother in Israel. She will be sadly missed. She will be sadly missed. Everybody is going to miss her. Mrs. Amosu, Olushola Shabi Amosu, as I fondly called her, was a very great friend and sister to me. We knew each other about uh, three decades ago, and uh, we are very close. I really miss her, but uh, God knows best. She was very amiable, sociable, kind. I, I can't just, I don't know any adjective I can use to qualify this uh, adorable lady. Auntie Ashabi, as I fondly call her, was a loving person. She was a giver and a lover of Christ. She was one of the president of this society, Ladies Christian Guild, for four years. And while she was our president, she made, you know, everybody, we all know Christ, but she made us, you know, to move closer to Christ, you know, by initiating, you know, a, a monthly, you know, fasting and, you know, prayer session, you know, with everybody in the society. The celebration continued at the Bell Event Center, Lagos Island, where the reception took place. The ambience and grandeur of the setting was breathtaking as distinguished guests, loved ones, families, friends, and well wishers trooped into the hall. The live band produced such accelerating music that got guests in frenzy and party mode, frolicking gracefully to the sweetness being expended. <laughs> Family and friends gathered round the children as they stood to dance, making the day a great one for them. Mama Amosu, in no small measure, helped a lot of people, young, old, friends, strangers, and left legacies many wanted to keep upholding, from her children to church members and other parastators where she was a voice to reckon with. My mother is an amazing mother. 
um, you can see in my eyes that um, I've, I've cried my eyes out. Um, it's such a, a great, great loss um, to lose our mother. Um, she imbibed in, in, in all some Christian values. Um, you know, my mother's passing away is a real shock to all of us. You know, she wasn't sick, she just passed on. She's such an amazing woman. You know, um, who I am today is because of my mother. She's been a good mother to me and she's been a good mother to every one of us. She is everything to me. She taught me a lot. If there's one thing I learned from her, be patient. And she's a very devoted Christian, always praying. No time she doesn't pray. When she calls me, I, I'm, I'm really going to miss our Sunday, Sunday gist. She's a jovial woman, always entertaining. There's no dull moment with her. No dull moment. And every time there's a particular prayer she does, Eniola, Wadagba, Wadarubo, see, one back by milk, ni one million dollar. She's always saying that prayer, I don't know the meaning, but I'll be like, okay. But when I got into a little challenge, I knew what she was talking about. And I thank God today I'm a registered nurse, not only a registered nurse practitioner in the U.S. If they are drinking one million milk, I'm going to be part of it. She's a fashionista. If there's one thing she loves, she loves party. And this, that's why we're doing it. We're celebrating our life. I love you, Mom. You are dead but not forgotten. You mean so much to me. And I love you. Every word you speak on Sundays is still in my brain. I still go with it. I love you, Mom. This is really tough um, because I, I really love my mom. Me and my mom happen to, you know, we happen to be born on the same day, 23rd of April, and we share the same birthday as well. And, you know, I'm really, really, really going to miss her. She's the best thing that has ever, ever happened to me, you know. A lot of things she told me and taught me, you know, which is something I'm going to hold dearly. Um, she taught me how to give and never stop giving. And, you know, just a good life and the way she lived, you know, was something that was second to none. You know, I love my mom and uh, I wish her all the best. <laughs> I know it's too late to wish her all the best, but I pray God welcomes her very well as well. One thing I've learned from my mother, and I think every one of us have actually benefited from, is actually having Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. All my mother's children are, are, are saved. Um, my, my elder sister is a pastor. I'm a, I'm a deacon in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. You know, at age five when I was growing up, um, it's quite fascinating to see my mother pray because when she, when she prayed, you can see tears rolling down her eyes. She prayed with, fa with passion, you know. She, she prayed uh, with so much fa fervency, I must say, you know. And um, she, she taught us that, you know, we can do nothing or achieve nothing by ourselves, but through the Almighty God, you know. It's a great lesson to know that, you know, uh, with God, all things are possible. Uh, and that's one thing I will definitely be teaching my own children as well. She has taught me various lessons, how to always strive for your goal and always be who you are and be authentic in whatever you do. So I only hope that um, with the legacy she's left behind, I can only do half of what she has done. So wherever she is, I know she's in a better place and I just hope that everything is good and everything will be okay. As the children and her loved ones said, Mama Olushola Ashabi Amosu will be deeply and greatly missed, but the lessons she has taught all and sundry through her lifestyle and words will forever remain in the memory of all who know her. We pray that Mama finds eternal repose in the bosom of her Lord and Savior. Oh.